Okay, this video is a short video that will let you know how you can make your laptop that is not certified by vMix or Blackmagic to work with your USB 3. And here's what I've done on um, vMix. I've noticed that this is a very uh, picky uh, way of doing things. Uh, vMix is very picky about the, the way the settings have to match. And so is this cord, this uh, USB cord over here. But uh, first thing that I want to show you is on my desktop over here. I have the desktop video set up from Blackmagic, okay? That's the interface that makes you change your output on your uh, on your box, on your, you know, box. So what I do, you click over here, right? And then you go and you change your video output. Right now it's showing plug and play that my HDMI is active. And I have tried with vMix all of those settings here and nothing works. I wanted to keep at a 1080, but I have learned that, in, at least on my case, if I want to keep this uh, USB 3 intensity shuttle, I have to go to 720p. 720p works fine, okay? It's working fine. It's working right now. And uh, it's been working. And, and so what I do is this. I go to my camera and uh, I do a setting on my camera. The HDMI setting on the camera is different from the camera settings, right? If your camera has an HDMI setting, you have to adjust to reflect the 720p 60, okay? Make sure 720p, if you don't have the 60 there, it's fine. But 720p, you gotta have that. And then once you do that on your camera, and your camera is hooked up, you know, in my case, I'm using uh, micro HDMI out to regulate HDMI onto the Blackmagic, and then into my USB 3 of my computer. Uh, so this is the only setting that has been working for me. It's still HD, it's not as 1080, but you know, when you stream, it's not that big of a deal right now. So if I wanna keep that, this is what I'm gonna have to do. Then you click on save, make sure that after you do the change, that you see the numbers right here. Sometimes it goes back to an NTSC setting, but you wanna have that here, okay? Once your camera is hooked up, that's what you do, all right? So basically, in your um, on your, uh, vmix your settings on your vmix for your preset have to match that too so i got 60 over here for master frame rate my output size is 1280 by 720 and that's the key right there 720 okay so i do that um and my ntsc 60 okay uh also when you add an input or uh, for the intensity shuttle make sure that you have the same setting Master frame rate or frame rate 60, 59, 94, 1280 by 720. Make sure that is there. So you have the settings over here, the settings on your input, and make sure they reflect it at the bottom here. 720p, 5994. That will match in your intensity shuttle output for HDMI, which in turn has to match your camera. And that's working fine. So I'm gonna bring in my uh, GoPro camera here, and this is it. This is my GoPro right now. It's micro U HDMI into my um, into my HDMI input on my uh, Blackmagic, and it's going. It's a little warm, which is fine. Which is actually good news. It's working for a lot of people. Uh, the issue has been USB controllers on your device manager on your PC you see it you might need to update the drivers that didn't work for me but I had the best drivers or the latest drivers so that didn't work so here's what I, the other thing I do once I have a working setting on vmix I I save right your preset you save your presets right here you know and then uh, and then what I do is I put my setting on my uh, on my uh, desktop and instead of starting vMix by clicking on the program, I start by clicking on my preset, whatever preset I want. So I, I went up the letter and I was able to get this one working, 1280 by 60p and it's working fine for me and I hope it works fine for you. I hope it, it's helpful for you. So uh, if you like it, you know, hit like and if you wanna promote this video or if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to try to answer and help you guys so you don't have to pay $100 more for a Maduel uh, capture card.